Multiplying matrices is more in-depth. Um, there's actually a couple of different ways that you can multiply matrices. First off, you can do what's called scalar multiplication. This is multiplying by something that changes its scale. So if you double the size of it, you're rescaling. Um, and you're dealing with the scalar. That's what that language means, scalar. Um, in this case, if you're dealing with a, um, a whole number, or well, actually, it doesn't have to be a whole number. Are you dealing with a real number times a matrix? Then what happens is that that real number just gets distributed through the matrix. It's not actually a distributive property. It just seems an awful lot like it. You're just going to take negative two times each individual entry. So this would give you give us uh, what, negative six because negative two times three is negative six. Here we get a negative four. Here we get a positive six, and here we get a positive two. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, that's scalar multiplication. The tricky part comes in with matrix multiplication, when we're taking one matrix times another one. And in order for this to be even be possible, there has to be a couple of things that happen. Um, so if we have matrix A, I'm going to call this an M by N matrix, and matrix B, which is an S by T matrix, if you wish to multiply them so that A, you're doing A times B, then the inner dimensions must match. Okay, so let me show what I mean by that. If we're doing A times B, and we have M by N matrix and an S by T matrix. So I'm just kind of writing up what the dimensions of those matrices are. What I mean by the inner dimensions must match is these two dimensions must be, must be the same. N must be equal to S. Let me do it over here. N must equal S in order for, for us to be able to multiply these matrices. And then the result is going to be the remaining dimensions, the M and the T. The result is M by T. So already you can see there's something weird happening here. We're talking about the number of columns of the first matrix has to match the number of rows of the second matrix. And the resulting matrix has the number of rows of this one and the number of columns of that one. It's, it's a little bit of a weird process. So just for us to be able to multiply these things together, um, those dimensions have to match. The resulting dimensions are n by t. All right, so let's let's do this. Um, if we're doing a times b, this is a two by three matrix, and this is a three by two matrix. If we were to multiply these together, you can see, if, well, in this way, if I did a times b, then we'd have two by three, then a three by two. You can see the threes match. So this. Uh, would be a 2 by 2 matrix. So the inner dimensions match, the result would be the size of the outer dimensions. Um, I'll go ahead and actually do this on the calculator in just a second, but before I do that, let's consider a b. If we were to swap the direction of this multiplication, you can see the inner dimensions still match, um, but b times a would be a 3 by 3 matrix. So up until now when you're talking about multiplying real numbers, um, you're used to multiplication being commutative. That is, if you swap the order of a multiplication, you get the same answer. Uh, with matrices, that's not the case. Multiplication is not commutative with matrices. So you really have to pay attention. If you do AB versus BA, these are two different products. Um, all right, but you can see here they even give two, the dimensions of the matrices aren't even the same. Um, all right, so let's see how to do this on the calculator. Um, actually, I'll do these in, in two separate videos, uh, one for each calculator.